Okay, this is what you wanted, I guess. Okay, they have uh, a few combos here. Combos are never ending, basically. And then it immediately blocks your hits afterwards. Yeah. So they, again, they've designed this one in a very specific way, where it's like, it's a tiny room, you can't really get away. The last time we had like the the double deflect where we just tried to do that and that really won the day. This one he he literally has like eight, ten, twelve swipes back to back. So is, it, is that really the way? I feel like it probably is not. Let's see. It's too many, man. Like, what? <laughs> like, there is no method of dodging here. And that's why I like this boss as, as, hor as horrible as it seems. Again, it's very, like, training-based. It wants you to fight a certain way. Huh? I pressed R2 there, I 100% did. But it should, even if it it's unblockable, it should allow you to press it at least, no? Yeah, so this is full, like, basically you do not bother trying to attack him with your normal attacks, he just blocks you anyway. So you have to look for openings. Or just completely fill the posture gauge with deflection as opposed to anything else. So let's see. Yeah, nothing happens to his posture gauge here. Yeah, okay. So, basically, it's like, if you use the umbrella thing, you can stop his attacks, but then his unguardable one is a sweep that stops you from using the umbrella. So. Uh, ran out. Okay. But that's the general idea, I think. Now, I think I'm going to try and do it without using the umbrella, because it's just the same thing, but with harder timing. And since it's a quick repeat, I think we'll be, we'll be okay here. Let's see. Hmm... Yeah, okay. So you saw how um, his posture went, gauge went up there. Oh, 
but it's like I think the gap in between them is too tough so like because there's so many hits I think it, you need to get a very long series of perfectly timed blocks if you don't want your own posture to fill up quick and that's obviously a problem because obviously he does his flurry once he's finished there's no breathing space like your posture's already almost full to maximum and then he already starts his next onslaught so you don't have enough time to kind of recharge your posture ahead of that Yeah, so it's full now, and then he's going to break it. It's just too much here. Good lord. Yeah, it reminds me uh, a lot of the, the Revenant in Elden Ring, which was my most hated enemy. And it's an enemy that, I don't care what anyone says, most people struggle with Revenants. And that style of just like, swipe over and over and over and over and over and you can't stop it. It's a really horrible style to try and fight against. How can he even block that though? have no choice but to L1 over and over and over again. There's no other choice here. You can't heal, you can't just shit all. Training arc, let's go. Jump, 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 you gotta jump. I mean, this is the one thing I will say about this game, like the camera sometimes is a bit dumb, like I can't see what I'm doing. Now he's not chaining them together enough. Don't 
too much, man. Too much. <laughs> well, you saw the first death blow. So I think the first death blow is there to teach you just to kind of hold your ground. Don't bother attacking. And then the second one, obviously, he doesn't let you string together enough to build up the posture gate just with L1s. So, yeah. Let's see. Huh? I thought there'd be some more delay after the first death blow, man. He instantly got up. Fuck off, are you kidding me? He was attacking within a split second of that. this guy man like after that death blow the way that he just no that's that's literally unfair a death blow delayed him absolutely nothing zero delay nah. how does he how did that death blow not register? Why? Now stupid stuff is happening. Like, I've basically already figured it out, like, for this first one. And now I'm just not able to. For no reason at all. How are these happening? How? Unfortunately, the last time I figured out something about one of these mini bosses, I managed to kill it pretty soon afterwards. But this one is just... I think the other one, I still had a chance to heal and stuff. This, this guy gives you time to do absolutely nothing. I wonder if the for the second half, like the umbrella helps, but... The sweep attack is specifically designed to screw with the umbrella, so it's like, no. I think that one can work, but it needs to be, again, done at the right time. I'm thinking in that second form... Yeah, okay. All right. Um, it's basically after you jump over him, you kind of need to capitalize maybe with something like that.
Yeah, he's just very hard to interrupt when he does that. Yeah, so basically what I've been trying to understand is in the second form, as I call it, are you able to basically keep doing what you're doing and as long as you avoid... Basically, it didn't feel like... Because he's throwing in the constant unblockable sweep thing. I thought maybe you won't have enough opportunity to build up the gauge just by deflection. But I think you can. So you don't need to do anything fancy, I think. Ah! I'm fighting too hard to try and keep the stupid gauge up. That's why I'm not succeeding here. Thankfully, at least I know I can beat this guy now. It's You don't need to do no Ichimonji, no crap, just literally just L1 jump basically the entire time. And for the second one at least, uh, there are opportunities to heal. I hate the camera, but we're going to get there. I just can't, like, the camera's horrible here. I don't care what anyone says, the camera is fucking horrible here. It's a hard enough fight as it is. You're training players who've barely managed to do two deflects in a row to try and win a fight to fucking do, like, 16 of them. And then you just ram them into a corner and the camera's everywhere. No, I'm sorry, like, it's just shit. I, I like the training aspect of this fight and what it's teaching you to do and what's possible and all of that business, like I'm not, I get it, but, but the camera stuff is just ridiculous. Take that. Whew. Very nice. Yeah. Other than the camera, I really like that fight. But the camera was just balls. Sorry. Okay. Ooh. Divine abduction through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Congo. At Senpu Temple, we'll perform virtuous deeds. Okay, so we have a new prosthetic tool. Sweet. 
keep going here. Oh. But such a different fight again from what we've been experiencing. I do need to go back and try and fight the one with the the arm that like pulls you in and stuff, but we'll see. I only have one bead out of four. If I only needed one more left, I'd be more motivated. Get it? Um, I think I chose the wrong 50-50, as usual. Oh. Maybe I didn't. Be a way more productive session here. I think um, it reminded me there was a Bloodborne session, I think, similar to this, where we had issues like that. Like it was quite early on in the game. Okay, come on now. Are you kidding me? <sighs> you know what? Let me go back. But yeah, there was one Bloodborne session where I was just like really just like feeling it, you know, getting very stuck. It took me a while to kind of overcome that and then it really helped. Um, when I see anything that's a level one, let's just start unlocking that stuff. Straight death for that. I forgot to rest. Damn it. I threw away a death there. That's fine. I beat that human centipede prick, so I'm happy. Can't bring me down with that kind of stuff. Yeah, just went to get to the next kind of checkpoint thing. Oh, for God's sake, I didn't realize. Well, should have realized. So let's have another look here. Yeah, like it shows me that. Oh. So maybe this takes me to the item I missed. Oh. So far, I think I haven't really needed these like soul stuff. Eventually, I will, and then I'll use them like once I'm actually better at the game. I feel like these are going to have something waiting for me. Mistake. Uh, I got a prayer bead? Oh, that was a little bit lucky. Honestly. Crap. Yeah, so what I meant to do... Didn't realize. Wait. 
Yeah, it doesn't work very well. Yeah, I get a freebie here, I think. Oh, maybe I don't. Yeah, just really nasty enemy type there. But we did get some nice stuff, including a bead, which I was not expecting. I'm going to force myself to, to backtrack here because I'm stuck. Can't find anything. Every path I go here is either locked or it loops round back to itself. So, stuck. At this point, unfortunately, I'm a bit confused. I was doing really well, and I didn't have any navigational issues until now, but that that bit has defeated me. Should have been a death blow, we all know. I hate these guys. I also don't know if it's the case that there's certain enemies that have the keys to certain locks. So if you don't defeat a certain enemy, you won't be able to get through. Okay, thankfully this has avoided me uh, going insane here, which is nice. So I gave it as much as I could. I spent maybe literally 10 minutes of my time trying to get through. But I think this is another one of those educational moments where you kind of realize that I felt like this was basically the main path, like the main story path. Therefore, if I get stuck here, then it's my fault if I'm stuck here. It's not that you're supposed to go off and do something else. It's just that just, you need to find the right thing. But it seems to be that for here, you cannot proceed further until you get a key. So I need a key from here, and I need a key for here. Both of these keys I don't have. And so who do I fight? I think let's start with this. I'm thinking maybe these mini bosses also hold keys, so probably a smart idea to fight them. So let's go again. We need to figure out what tool's gonna work best for this particular one though. There's gotta be something. I was just alarmed by how little damage I was doing. I'm alarmed by that too, but mostly by how little damage I was doing. Okay, snake egg. That one I gotta not give up, obviously. Yeah, we're not building any posture here. That's not pretty helping. Like, look at the damage, though. The damage just ain't there. I'm getting whacked, but the, the damage is not there. And they won't let you have two hits there.
50% of my health. Nice. Yeah, there's got to be some other trick here, like, there's no way an enemy is this tanky. There's no way.